Yeah. <clears throat> First, let me hop out the motherfucking Porsche. I don't wanna if that ass. What's up, gamers? It's your boy, Fat Dallas, aka Mr. Tutty Tutty, bringing you some fire Madden 18 tips. Getting ready for Madden 19. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that thumbs up and you subscribe if you're new for the best tips online. You don't need to go nowhere else and find an ebook. You don't need to go nowhere else and subscribe. You just need to go right here to this channel, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and you will get all the real life schemes that work. None of the super, super glitchy stuff, but all the basic setups to make you be able to elevate your game to another level. Now, when you play opponents, I'm in weekend league right now. You will play against all these crazy offenses. They will run it over and over and over until the game bails them out. So if you're playing against the tight end angle and the wham, all you want to do is come out in 3-4 cover two or tampa two you don't want to base a line you just want to press and then you want to spy one linebacker on one side of the field and then you want to man up the other linebacker now every route combo that he has he cannot change he usually has a streak tight end and then he usually have two drags underneath or he's going to try to run into the outside this will put you in the best position to lock all that down you can see right now third and 21 we going into the dollar three two six db fire two press or you can do the overload blitz on this play all you want to do is press and then you want to leave one of the uh cornerbacks blitzing man up the other one and then you can blitz the middle linebacker but move him right over the top of the defensive tackle if you want to and you just guard the middle of the field all the outside of the field would be locked down you can do this out of the cover three situation also so it's fourth and 28 my opponent is going to try to fake punt it but i want y'all to know if somebody is running wham over and over and over that play is real annoying and then they got two more plays out of that so i want to make sure as soon as you come out and establish your defense and they running stretches they running whams they gonna eventually go into the pass type of play so if you come out in the tampa two and you press that's gonna put your clouds or your soft zones into a better position to help with the run but also be in position when the person goes down the field for a pass to have good coverage on them now you can see me right now he got the ball again we up 7-0 we coming out in that same play and like i told you that blitzing on one side you man up the opposite side it's an easy easy blitz it's an easy easy setup now you don't have to send that yellow zone if you don't want to but i like to to put more pressure on him so he can try to do the out routes and he gonna throw it right into my clouds or my set zone like i said with the cover two all you want to do is press and then stay on the line of scrimmage now look at this i'm with a defensive tackle all the way down the field that's jason or john randall with the pick right there and we are getting real glitchy out here now if y'all want more tips on offense let me know but i'm showing y'all how to shut down the most cheesiest plays because if you play uh six opponents you're gonna run into this three or four different times and if you need help with stopping the bunch and the halfback dig out and all that kind of crazy stuff i got y'all make sure you drop a like on this video 45 50 likes will let me know that y'all need my help i got this nasty offensive scheme right here that you can set up because a lot of people like to run these type of uh, offenses but they don't know how to stop it i'm giving y'all tips on how to stop it and i can show y'all also how to dominate using it let's go